Here's something interesting. For those of you that like to take notes, don't miss this. In the country in which we live, we have one of the longest average lifespans of any country on the face of the globe. And that happens to be currently 75 years in length. In this country, the average person now lives 75 years. The average person in the world, less than 60. But based on the longest average in our country, if you're 20 years old, you have 660 months left. If you're 30 years old, you have 540 months left. If you're 40 years old, you have 420 months left. If you're 50 years old, you're down to 300 months If you're 60 years old, you have 180 months left. If you're 70 years old, you're down to a handful of 60 months. If you're 80 years old or older, I'm going to stop here lest the service become suicidal. That's right, some of you are a ticking time bomb and you know it. So here's the grandiose question of the night. What happens five seconds after you die? Hebrews 9.27 says, Just as one person is destined to die once, but after that comes the judgment. Death is not the end of your life. The funeral is not the end of your life. You do not rot in the ground and become worm bait, as many people jokingly say, according to the eternal word of the living God. But rather the Bible said it's not a period. When you write a sentence, the end of the sentence, you put a period. Death is not a period at the end of your life. Death is not an exclamation point at your funeral. Death is a comma between life temporary and life eternal. 